Saint Apollonia Coptic, was one of a group of virgin martyrs who suffered in Alexandria during a local uprising against the Christians prior to the persecution of Decius. According to church tradition, her torture included having all of her teeth violently pulled out or shattered. For this reason, she is popularly regarded as the patroness of dentistry and those suffering from toothache or other dental problems. French court painter Jehan Fouquet painted the scene of Saint Apollonia's torture in the martyrdom of Saint Apollonia. Martyrdom Ecclesiastical historians have claimed that in the last years of Emperor Philip the Arabian reign 244 during otherwise undocumented festivities to commemorate the millennium of the founding of Rome traditionally in 753 BC, putting the date about 248, the fury of the Alexandrian mob rose to a great height, and when one of their poets prophesied a calamity, they committed bloody outrages on the Christians, whom the authorities made no effort to protect. Dionysus, Bishop of Alexandria 247 relates the sufferings of his people in a letter addressed to Fabius, Bishop of Antioch, of which long extracts have been preserved in Eusebius Historia Ecclesia. After describing how a Christian man and woman, Metras and Quinta, were seized and killed by the mob, and how the houses of several other Christians were pillaged, Dionysus continues, at that time Apollonia, Parthenos Presbytes mostly likely meaning a deaconess was held in high esteem. These men seized her also and by repeated blows broke all her teeth. They then erected outside the city gates a pile of soldiers and threatened to burn her alive if she refused to repeat after them impious words either a blasphemy against Christ, or an invocation of the heathen gods. Given, at her own request, a little freedom, she sprang quickly into the fire and was burned to death. This brief tale was extended and moralized in Jacobus da Voragine's Golden Legend c. 1260. Apollonia and a whole group of early martyrs did not await the death they were threatened with, but either to preserve their chastity or because they were confronted with the alternative of renouncing their faith or suffering death, voluntarily embraced the death prepared for them, an action that runs perilously close to suicide, some thought. Augustine of Hippo touches on this question in the first book of the City of God, apropos suicide. But, they say, during the time of persecution certain holy women plunged into the water with the intention of being swept away by the waves and drowned, and thus preserve their threatened chastity. Although they quitted life in this wise, nevertheless they receive high honor as martyrs in the Catholic Church and their feasts are observed with great ceremony. This is a matter on which I dare not pass judgment lightly. For I know not but that the Church was divinely authorized through trustworthy revelations to honor thus the memory of these Christians. It may be that such is the case. May it not be, too, that these acted in such a manner, not through human caprice but on the command of God, not erroneously but through obedience, as we must believe in the case of Samson? When, however, God gives a command and makes it clearly known, who would account obedience there to a crime or condemn such pious devotion and ready service? The narrative of Dionysus does not suggest the slightest reproach as to this act of Saint Apollonia, in his eyes she was as much a martyr as the others, and as such she was revered in the Alexandrian church. In time, her feast was also popular in the West. A later narrative mistakenly duplicated Apollonia, making her a Christian virgin of Rome in the reign of Julian the Apostate, suffering the same dental fate. Veneration. The Roman Catholic and Eastern Orthodox churches celebrate the feast day of Saint Apollonia on February 9, and she is popularly invoked against the toothache because of the torments she had to endure. She is represented in art with pincers in which a tooth is held. Saint Apollonia is one of the two patron saints of Catania. William S. Walsh noted that, though the major part of her relics were preserved in the former church of St. Apollonia at Rome, her head at the Basilica di Santa Maria in Trastevere, her arms at the Basilica di San Lorenzo Fiori la Mura, parts of her jaw in St. Basil's, and other relics are in the Jesuit church at Antwerp, in St. Augustine at Brussels, in the Jesuit church at Mechlin, in St. Cross at Liege, in the treasury of the Cathedral of Porto, and in several churches at Cologne. These relics consist in some cases of a solitary tooth or a splinter of bone. In the Middle Ages, objects claimed to be her teeth were sold as toothache cures. There was a church dedicated to her in Rome, near the Basilica di Santa Maria in Trastevere, but it no longer exists. 
Only its little square, the Piazza Sant'Apollonia remains. One of the principal train stations of Lisbon is also named for this saint. There is a statue of Saint Apollonia in the church at Locronin, France. The island of Mauritius was originally named Santa Apollonia in her honour in 1507 by Portuguese navigators. A parish church in Eilendorf, a suburb of Aachen, Germany, is named in honour of Saint Apollonia. The Madonna della Strada Chapel at Loyola University Chicago contains a stained glass window on the north wall depicting Saint Apollonia. The windows along this wall correspond with the colleges of the university at the time the chapel was built. The Loyola University School of Dentistry closed in 1993, but the window in the chapel remains. Topic. Presence in England Topic. There are 52 known images of her in various English churches that survived the ravages of the 16th century commissioners. These are concentrated in Devon and East Anglia. Most of these images are on the panels of rude screens or featured in stained glass with only one being a stone capital Stokintainhead, Devon. She is also depicted in a tapestry of circa 1499 at St. Mary's Guildhall, Coventry. By county, some of the locations are Cheshire, Bunbury Cornwall, Poundstock Devon, Alphington, now gone, Ashton, Coombe Martin, Exeter Cathedral, Tapestry in St. Gabriel's Chapel, Holm, Ken, Kenton, Kingskerswell, see photo, Manaton, Payhambury, South Milton, Stoke in Tynehead, Torbrian, Ugborough, Wimple, now gone, Widecombe in the Moor, Woolborough, Newton Abbott, Lincolnshire, Long Sutton, Norfolk, Barton Turf, Docking, Horsham Street, Faith, Ludham, Norwich Street. Stevens, Norwich over the water, church disused, Sandringham, Suffolk, Norton, Summerleden, Westhall, Chilton. Her image is the side support of the arms of the British Dental Association. Topic. References. Topic. Atwater, Donald and Catherine Rachel John, The Penguin Dictionary of Saints, Third Edition, New York, Penguin Books, 1993. ISBN 0-14-051312-4. Beale, John F. Representations of St. Apollonia in British Churches. Dental Historian Vol. 30, pp. 3-19, 1996. Santa Apollonia, Patrona de Odontologos y Enfermedades Dentales. Santa Apollonia, Patron of Dentists and Dental Diseases in Spanish. Dental World. Retrieved 21 December 2017. Topic. External links Topic. Media related to St. Apollonia at Wikimedia Commons Colonnade Statue St. Peter's Square